Hi St Peter's, I'm going to read a few verses from Psalm 114 and you might want to read the whole psalm yourself. I'm reading just the last two verses, 7 and 8. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. He turned the rock into a pool of water. Yes, a spring of water flowed from solid rock. Those verses really stood out to me. Apparently these two psalms, Psalm 113 and 114, would have been sung or read by Jewish people at Passover. So I can just imagine Jesus and his friends singing these psalms that night, the, the Last Supper night, and remembering deliberately the things that God did which were impossible just before Jesus went to the cross. That blows me away. And what struck me especially with this last verse about water out of the dry rock and deliberately recalling impossible things. This is amazingly helpful every time we're looking at a situation that is um, seemingly impossible, like a hard rock in front of us. And I'm really encouraged because sometimes when I sit to pray, I look at the situation I want to pray for or the friend or the thing in my own life which seems just it hasn't changed and I can get discouraged uh, my prayers can be a bit what to pray next how to connect to God and this is such a, a brilliant thing to do to which has encouraged me actually this this week while I've been preparing to do this little video that I've been going back to things in the Bible that God did which were impossible. And if I start from that, if I start from meditating on a bit of the Bible, looking at something God did, like the water out of the rock for his people Israel in the wilderness, there's no way they would have imagined he was going to do that. And he wants to include us in his plans. That's his way, That's that he's, he's given us a purpose and it's so precious. So instead of feeling discouraged when I've come to pray for those impossible situations, I've, I've gone off the back of this verse and, and uh, started to pray in a different way. And I, and I think it's just so amazing. We have the Bible. We have so much. And we can recall as well things in our own lives, things in our church family, where God has done the unusual, the impossible. It was the angel Gabriel said to Mary, um, nothing is impossible for God. And I just wanted to share how that's encouraged me this week. He's the God who, who brings springs of water out of a hard rock.